Uh, well, the construction of the trumpet typically is with um, one tube that runs through it uh, originally before it had the valves. But uh, the, the trumpet itself has um, now the, the three valves that go through it. Uh, the tube connecting from the mouthpiece running through, you have a tuning point here. This is your main tuner because it affects the air going into the valves versus once it goes through the valves and your other tuning points. So this is the main tuning allowing the whole instrument to go flat or sharp depending on how you do it. If you elongate it, it goes flat. If you shorten it, it goes sharp. So that allows you to change that tonation there. Um, once it gets through, you have other, other uh, tuning points involved. Um, these, on this particular trumpet, uh, the tuning points, if you keep them nice and lubed, you can adjust while you're playing. So if you have a note that's particularly sharp, you can flat, make it flatter or less, depending on how you're doing it. Um, the anatomy also includes the spit valves, which is the main release for when you are playing and your spit gets in there. And it's a lovely, wonderful, and classy thing to have happen while you're playing, is to have to blow spit out. Um, and then the bell of the instrument um, is where the sound comes out and is magnified. And it's kind of like a speaker on a gramophone. The idea of it's starting at a smaller point and it amplifies as it goes out. And it just allows the wind to kind of go through it and make the sound. The valves themselves are used to divert the air from the main tube to different points in the trumpet to make it longer or shorter. So where you have the main system running from the mouthpiece, let's put it this way, from the mouthpiece through your main tube, you can see it goes into, the, into the, this valve here. And uh, when it comes into the here, we'll go ahead and take one of these valves out. We can see the, the holes throughout the valve and uh, it allows to, as, as you push it down and pull it up, it allows it to change the direction that the air is flowing to elongate or shorten the, the sound, which gives it the tonation of a longer or shorter note, effectively taking it up um, a full step or a half step, depending on the combination that you press, versus just doing it with your embouchure. So it kind of makes it easier to do that. And each one of these has a different arrangement of holes that sends it through your different lengths of pipe, eventually getting it out. <laughs> it just happens really fast. <laughs> Ha <laughs>